want to go fight for Ukraine, here's what to do. Ukraine has laid out a simple, I think, six-step process so that you can get boots on ground in Ukraine. This is it. This You can find this on militarytimes.com. Maybe you want to go. Under siege by its much larger and more powerful neighbor, Ukraine has been so far able to slow down Russia's attack, a senior U.S. defense official said Sunday morning, but there is a long fight ahead. The Russians have been frustrated, they have been slowed, they have been stymied, and they have been resisted by Ukrainians, and to some degree, they've done it to themselves in terms of their fuel and logistics and sustainment problems, uh, the official said, speaking anonymously to reporters. But as I said earlier, we would expect them to learn from these issues and adapt to them and try to overcome them. So I think we all need to be very sober here, recognizing that this is combat, and combat is ugly, it's messy, it's bloody, and it is not wholly predictable. And to that end, Ukraine is calling on foreigners who want to help. Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky has created the International Legion of Territorial Defense of Ukraine. It is a new effort, Ukrainian official tells Military Times, to help bolster the fight. Several veterans have reached out, finding out what they can do to help. And this is it. This is the answer. Before you go, this is what you need to know, according to the official who spoke to anonymously in an interview that was repeatedly interrupted by ongoing airstrikes to show the kinetic amount of activity that's going on over there. Here's what veterans, other U.S. citizens, or anyone else interested in helping out needs to know. Step one, this is it. Six steps to go fight for Ukraine, if if this is uh, something you're interested in. Maybe it is, and I commend you if you feel like this is something you must do. Apply to the embassy of Ukraine in your country with the intention of joining the Foreign Legion of Territorial Defense of Ukraine. Ask a diplomat for details. Applicants can visit the embassy in person, call, or send an email to start the process. Get your documents in order, including an ID, a passport to travel abroad, documents confirming military service or work with law enforcement agencies, and participation in combat. Arrive at the embassy with documents for an interview with the defense attache and the settlement of any visa issues with the council. Consul. Write an application for enlistment in the territorial defense of the armed forces of Ukraine for military service under a contract on a voluntary basis. So you'll enlist. Receive instructions. Step five, receive instructions on how to arrive in Ukraine and what to bring. Military clothing, equipment, helmet, body armor, combat gloves, tactical glasses, belts, and vests are recommended, not obligatory, the official said. But a foreign soldier in his national uniform looks good for the International Legion. You don't want to become a propaganda piece, though. You don't want to, you do not want to appear to be an active duty Marine fighting alongside Ukrainians. You don't want to appear to be an actual active duty soldier, sailor, airman, guardian. That would be not very helpful. Could cause irreparable harm to the mission. Step six, go to Ukraine in an organized manner. Representatives of Ukrainian embassies, consulates abroad, and territorial defense in Ukraine will provide assistance on the way. Contacts will be provided at the embassy of Ukraine in your country. So there it is. If you want to go fight for Ukraine, you now can. They are asking for help. And like I was saying about an insurgency in Ukraine, this battle could go on for potentially, don't think that this couldn't go on for 20 years. At this point, there is no reason to believe that anything's going to end tomorrow or next week or next year. More people are deploying. More people are readying. The international community is rallying behind Ukraine, offering support in many different ways. I wouldn't assume anything at this point. I would just keep listening and keep prepping, keep preparing yourselves for a long, drawn-out war. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching that clip from our live show. We're live right here on YouTube, Sunday through Thursday, 1800 Pacific Standard Time. If you want, come on by, join the chat. I'd love to hear from you. If you like that video and you want to see more, consider checking out this video right here or subscribing to the channel with this button right here. I look forward to talking to you really soon. I'm out for now.